What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, male and female, who's coming towards you. Let's see. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, not going to resonate with everyone. If this reading resonated with you, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you guys are interested in donating to my channel, you can do so. The link is in the description box below. It's my wish list on Amazon. It's definitely going to help with building my channel purchasing new decks and other items for my channel as well so if you guys are interested in that the link is down below in the description box let's see what's going on thank you so much guys for your likes shares comments subscribe to my channel i definitely appreciate it i'm picking up on so much like so much new energy like, yeah if that even makes sense so much new energy do that even sound right <laughs> but i am picking up on new energy though so yeah mm -hmm. Let's see what's going on with Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Who's coming towards Virgo? Okay, so they're saying four times. I need to shuffle four times. Virgo, one, two, who's coming towards Virgo, three. Heard some legal problems or something like that is what I'm feeling in my spirit right now. Like somebody could be going through some legal or some court issues or something like that. Mm, I don't know. I just felt that. Okay. Uh, overall energy for you, Virgo, we have <laughs> the Eight of Swords. So some sort of restrictedness. This is when I feel like somebody's in jail or something like that. Like somebody going through something that's like tying them up, weighing them down holding them back, uh, restricted, afraid to take action. Uh, look at this, not, muddy waters. You're not on solid ground. It's what I'm getting overall energy. Some of y'all could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, anyway, let's see who's coming towards you. We have the death card. So it could be a Scorpio coming towards you. Uh Let's see, what are their intentions towards you? Oh, Ten of Swords. Whoa. A lot of sword energy here. Air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What is their intentions towards you? You have the Ten of Swords. Endings. Betrayal. Backstabbing. Let's see what the challenge is. The Hierophant. <laughs> Some of y'all, we have the energy tours here. But this is the challenge. The challenge is someone not, not being able to follow the rules or getting a large institution as well hierophant definitely represents large institutions okay um the challenge is somebody locked up or something i really feel like somebody is in jail <laughs> that's what i was feeling as i was shuffling maybe somebody got caught up like like it's like somebody goes to court and then wind up getting locked up or sent away or something like that that's what i was feeling as i was shuffling like something is coming up somebody is being taken away uh, but the challenge is the hierophant. So it could be the challenge is some sort of coming together or uh, maybe the challenge is maybe you're in a relationship with this person and the challenge is maybe wanting to get married or staying committed or something like that. Something is going on here is what I'm getting. Okay. Let's see. How do they see you, Virgo? They see you as a, it's a cup. Yeah. So they see you as love. Like this is an overflow of emotion. This is, this could be a new relationship as well. Okay. Maybe they end it really quick. Here is what I'm getting, or some sort of restrictions. Here is what I'm getting, because whoever is coming towards you, we had the death card, so that's like could be a Scorpio, but that's some sort of transformation, an ending of something. Uh, but for some reason, I still feel that there is some sort of communication. Okay, but let's see, let's continue. Let's see, how do they feel about you? We have the Nine of Wands, so being a little guarded. Uh, 
maybe they feel that you are guarded i feel like this this is a energy that you've really been through a lot here uh is what i'm getting okay uh wow um i'm just getting like some okay um let's see what are they not telling you we have the fool card this fool card to me speaks freedom taking a risk taking a leap this is nothing holding this person back not like this okay so whoa somebody could be coming home or something or taking some sort of risk and leap this is a new uh like a fresh start or just jumping into something taking a risk or something like that this is what they're not telling you okay let's see what they're hiding from you yeah the world completing completions the world is talks about completions somebody could be getting out of jail or out of the military or out of something okay so that they could they could okay so when i'm getting a divorce too okay because overall energy we have some sort of restricted it's like restrictions here okay so whether you're like locked up or marriage or something like that somebody is getting ready to be set free is what i'm getting something is coming to an end a, like closure is what i'm getting wow but they see you as the ace of cups so don't worry this they see like this is an overflowing of emotional love like yeah so this is how they see you wow and the challenge may have been you guys not being able to be in a committed relationship due to someone being incarcerated locked up or away or married with someone with you know to to someone else wow so this this reading is not bad wow so let's see uh Hmm. What do they need to work on? Five of Pentacles. So I, it's a money situation. Yeah, because I feel like somebody is, it's almost like they're being released from something. And now they're kind of like starting from scratch, kind of, sort of. But it's almost like they had help in a way with the Five of Pentacles. It's like somebody else is with them. Um, and this is what they need to work on. So they could be trying to get their finances back up. It's like a kind of like a fresh start. Like you got a halfway, uh, uh, like, uh, shit, what is the word I'm looking for? Um, it's some sort of leeway. Like they got a little, like they got a little comfort, but it's not what they really want but it's like they're starting off not from scratch like not from the bottom you know they got like a little a little uh a little cushion here to like help you but they still need to work on some things to be able to get something solid and long term here so this is like halfway to me it's like i just feel like somebody is finally home they're finally out and now they can start working on building back up, you know, what was lost is what I'm getting. Um, I'm getting, I'm really getting the sense that somebody is getting out of a marriage or jail or some sort of things that, some sort of restrictedness is what I'm getting. Take those messages however they resonate for you because I'm going to be reading for a lot of people. Everybody's uh, situation is different, okay? All right, so let's see. Where is this relationship headed? We have the Wheel of Fortune. Major change. Wow. So things are changing here is what I'm getting. I mean, this is where the relationship is headed. Definitely, I feel it's in a, in a good way, though, okay? Wow. <laughs> let's see. Outcome. Judgment making some sort of final decision. Wow, you got a lot of majors here. So a lot of things are definitely going to change. I'm I'm really getting like a big major change. This is like a permanent change. Okay, cuz we got too many majors here. We got the death card, we got the ten of swords, like it, well even though the ten of swords is not a major, but that's still like an ending of something. 
you got too many endings and new beginnings. Wow. So this, there's a major shift, major change is coming your way, Virgo. Okay. I, I don't know. This could be what the hell? Like this is major, major. Somebody is getting a divorce and leaving. Uh, Cause I feel like the challenge was some sort of a uh, commitment with the Hierophant. But this person wants a new relationship with you or something new here. And then it's like you've been through a lot. You know, they see you. Um, hold on. One, two, three. Four. No. This is how they see you. I'm sorry. And then this is how they feel about you. So it's a lot of passion here. They feel like they need to protect you is what I'm getting. Okay. Um, and then with the fool and then the world. This, the fool is representing what they're not telling you. So taking some sort of risk and leap. And then what the world is, some someone, what they're hiding from you is something being completed. Something is over. There no, I feel like there is no longer any restrictions anymore, okay? Yeah, see, three of cups at the bottom of the deck. Celebrations, reuniting, happiness, joy. Wow. All right, Virgo. So we got all the elements here. We got air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We got water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We got um, fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we also have your energy, Earth energy. Could be a Taurus as well as what I'm getting to, uh, Virgo or Capricorn, okay? So, yeah, that's what I have. Uh, major change, major shifts. It's definitely coming for y'all, Virgo. Um but I feel like it's going to be for the better. Like, it's going to be for the good, I feel. Okay? Most definitely. Hmm. All right. So, that's what I have for you guys. If this reading happens to resonate with you in any way, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.